Hello everyone, this is The World Now. We'll begin in Africa, where Nigeria is forging closer ties with the United Nations in the fight against terrorism in the country. The UN Undersecretary General for the Office of Counterterrorism, Vladimir Vronkov, met, the, uh, met with the Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa in Abuja, to discuss this, among other issues. Sifonesian has more. Nigeria continues to play a leading role in the fight against terrorism in the sub-region under the Multinational Joint Task Force. In the last two weeks, troops made inroads in the Northeast. Troops of Operation Harden K ambushed and arrested terrorists in Goza and Tamwa local government areas of Borno and UV states, respectively. The troops' offensive led to the surrender of terrorist combatants in Goza local government area of Borno state. The counter-terrorism campaign is about to assume a new dimension. The UN Undersecretary General for the Office of Counter-Terrorism is in Nigeria to forge closer ties with the army to take the fight against terrorism and not higher. Uh, all the entities, agencies, institutions are working together in order to uh, make this threat, uh, make this, to make this threat as uh, limited as possible. Of course, it's a very difficult story to fight terrorism. But the evolving security situation in other parts of the country puts the government under tremendous pressure. The Nigerian Army has for some time been engaged in uh, the fight against terror in the northeast of the country. And even presently, we are engaged in banditry, anti banditry activities in the northwest. And we know that these bandits employ some uh, tactics of uh, the terrorist group, like the use of uh, improvised explosive devices to instill fear in law-abiding citizens. The army chief also met with defense attaches. What Nigerians now yearn to see is the impact of the collaborations. See Fon Asian, TVC News, Abuja.